everyone, it's Sue. Welcome back. So today I'm just having a bit of a play with some bits and pieces from um, the mystery boxes. So these mystery boxes come out the first Saturday of every month on my website. You can either subscribe or um, if there are any left after the subscriptions, I'll put, put them up and you can just get a one-off box. But I just thought I'd have a little bit of a play um, and just make maybe a couple of journaling cards or something to go in some journals. Um not um i just thought I, I i would use these now i'm probably going to cover up the image uh, i'm going to back these onto some coffee dye cardstock to make them a little bit uh firmer because these are only oh they're about photocopy um paper weight i think about 80 gsm um so i think what i'll do is i'll grab i mean this one doesn't worry me too much if i cover that up um what else have we got here even this one so let's just start with two and then um i just want to do play around and do a, a bit of layering and um i don't know maybe add some some doilies um so i guess the first thing that i want to do is just back these onto some something a bit firmer so some cardstock or coffee dyed cardstock so i'll just grab some of that and i'll do that I backed these onto um, some craft cardstock and then I decided to sew around them. I like to add sewing, I just think it adds a little bit of something extra. Um, now I think I'm just going to do a little bit of layering. I'm going to get some um, different bits and pieces. I've got some um, Tim Holtz backdrops here. Um, we have some labels thinking like a doily might look nice on this as well maybe a coffee dyed doily or something like that so i've just got these as i said i'm not worried about covering up too much of the image if i see you can see some of its poke out that's fine um, so i'm thinking i might cut one of these in half and use half on on each I've got no real plans for these cards, but I just I just felt like doing a bit of creating today. And um, the glue's all still a bit bit um, damp there, but that'll flatten down. Yeah, I just felt like doing a little bit of creating today, and I just thought I had the mystery box beside me, and I was having a little bit of a fiddle around in there, and I just thought oh, I'm just going to make a couple of larger journaling cards. Um, so, okay, where am I going to go from here? I got a little bit caught up in the creating and, and wasn't talking there. So I just sort of went with the flow and I just grabbed a few supplies and I'm liking the way that this is looking. So I think I'm going to start um, distressing and inking and sticking things down. So I'm just going to grab this off top and hopefully I can get it to um, look the same way. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to use the um, Tim Holtz Distress Tool. Uh, I have these back in stock in the shop as well. If anyone is looking for them, I'll put the link down below. And I'm also going to do distress around the edge of the base. Um, 
Um, today I'm just going to use some brushed corduroy distress ink. And I'm going to have the doily coming out the right hand side, so I'm probably going to just do a little bit of tearing on this side. Actually, the doily is going over top of that, isn't it? So I might just tear this side, I think. Just tear and roll. It just adds a little bit of texture. Okay, so I'm going to stick that down. I need to remember how I had this. Did I have that going there? Yes, I did. Okay. So I can stick this layer down. Just going to pop that on there. And then I just had this little tag poking out the top because I just thought it might be a good idea to maybe hang something from that. And I'm going to ink the back because you'll see that from the back of the card. Just so it all ties in colour wise. like that I'm thinking like that okay so then I'm going to glue this whole piece down And I just liked the little bit of layering of some um, labels. I may even add a couple more. This one's from um, Sam Poole's latest label kit. French labels, I think they're called. Maybe that. And then I could maybe put like a butterfly or something on here. So I'm going to stick that down. I'm just going to stick it down and be done with it rather than overthinking it too much.
Once again, I've got way too much glue. And this is just a washi label. is this which I'm thinking I might need something that's not transparent or oh, actually I like that a bit bolder in print I think I'll put that one there actually And I think I'll add a butterfly and maybe something dangling from there. All right, so um, find my fussy cut butterflies. I really need to get busy and cut some more out actually. I'm just going to pop that there. I will actually ink that wing because once again, it's going to be sitting off the card a bit it's just so it all blends in. something hang something from there I'm closing in on myself here that's quite cute isn't it and I might add some micro beads to that as well I think I think I'm gonna go with the gold just for a pop of color okay so last time I used these I used the dimensional magic and they dried a lot quicker, so I'm going to try that again. So I'm just adding it to the, the body. And then I'm just going to sprinkle the micro beads over the top. Shake off the excess. I actually like how they fell um, over here. I'm going to add a little, just a little trail of them.
and maybe just I'm probably overdoing it now I'm just going to add a little bit just so that there's three lots of three areas um, where you can see microbeads so I'm just going to do just a bit here yeah I like that so that's that and then I once that's dry I'll probably maybe hang something from there so I'm just going to pop it aside so I don't knock it and let that dry um, I'll put these back in the container so I don't spill them everywhere where well, you can see they're spilt everywhere anyway um, and then I'm going to work on this other other card here okay so I'll just move them out of the way for the moment now this one put the doily there um, what we got in here Just thinking if I could get something like a bit of blue like the hydrangea. Quite like that on that um, postcard there so I think I'll use that one So I've distressed and inked all those. I've lost my doily. I think it's been attached to my jumper. <laughs> I don't know what I've done with it. Here it is. So I'm just going to adhere that doily to the back of this. Let's add a little bit of glue and then I'm just going to pick it up place it where I want it and just pick it up like that and then I'm going to add um, Katie's just come home as well so there's going to be a lot of noise in the background so I apologize if you can hear all that um, okay so I'm doing that 
And I think this time around, no, it's glue everywhere. This time around, I'm just gonna add maybe the little tag out the bottom side here and have the um, dragonfly showing there. So I'll just ink that. Maybe just something like that. I need to work out where that's going to sit, don't I? So just something like that. And then I also need to ink the back of that. It's all moved. Okay, and I think I'm going to just, I'm going to glue this glue piece down and then I'll add, glue this top layer down and then I'll add, I'll probably try and find a dragonfly and I'll add some labels just for a little bit of layering as well. Maybe just something like that. Um, and I'm going to see if I've got something, a dragonfly or something that I can fussy cut out or I may even have one already done. So I'm just going to have a look for that. I want to add some labels as well. Um, well there's a round one with um, a dragonfly on it. I think that's one of Sam's latest label kit as well, Sam Pool. Even just that there. No, do we need anything up here? I don't know, maybe just something like that just to balance it out a little bit. And I think I'll stick that one there. I actually might distress and ink that a little bit. got this wings book um, and it's got some really amazing um, butterflies and birds and here's a couple of dragonflies actually I think I might cut this size out and use that one okay so really fine 
add a little bit of ink. I'm going to glue, I'll probably glue down all their wings, the wings on this one because it's so, um, so fiddly and just don't want it to get damaged. So I'm going to glue that down first and then I'm going to add some um, micro beads, I think, to the body as, of this one as well. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to go with this navy blue. Actually, that's quite nice. It's nice and bright. We might do that little pop of colour. I found these in um, the cheap shop. Um, not sure which one. I think it actually might have been on the Sunshine Coast when I was away on holidays. Um, and they're so cute. So I haven't used them yet. So we'll see. Hopefully they're the same. So once again, I'm just going to add it to the body here. I like that, actually. I was worried that it was going to be too bright, but I think that's nice. Um, and I'm just going to just throw some on here and just see how they fall and see what I like. Okay, so I think I'm just going to add a little bit across the top here. Just let them sit there for a minute. And I'm just going to add a few just in here. I'm probably overdoing it. You can see I've just spilt them everywhere. I don't like this one as much as the other one, but that's okay. Um, let that dry. I'm just going to have a quick look, and I don't know whether I'm going to be able to pour this in here. You know what? I'm going to do this off camera <laughs> because I know what's going to happen. I might have to try and find a little funnel um, to put in there. Um, I'm going to have a look in my uh, charms and things and see if there's something that I can find to hang from these two cards. So I'll just put them side by side. They're quite different, aren't they? Um, I'll see what I've got. Okay, so I found a few containers of charms that I thought I maybe I might use. And I'm just going to grab a couple of bold pins. And I'm just going to have a play and just dangle some bits and pieces from them. This one, this one has, um, I've got some little butterflies in here. So I'll do that one for that one. And this one, um, I don't think we need a lot on this one. We might, what have we got in here? Might even just do, I don't know, just 
do something like this. There we go. Okay, so that was a little bit of fun. I've got mess everywhere, um, but I'll just bring these up closer to show you. Um, so that's that one. Blue again. I don't normally do blue, but I quite like how that's turned out. You can see the micro beads there. Just adds a little bit of texture. And then this one, which probably is my favourite, but then pink's my favourite colour. So you can see just the micro beads on that as well. So just a couple of journal cards to pop in uh, one of my nature themed journals uh, you could even put that on as a topper on your journal on a journal cover they'd be quite nice so I've got to be very careful with them though because those micro beads aren't perfectly dry at the moment so um, I'll leave them there to dry and I'll leave that until the next video so I hope everyone's doing well take care and until next time I hope you get a little bit of creative time in see you soon bye bye